Hello, thank you for viewing this video. Right now I'm going to play the game and use my controller to control the character and demonstrate what the final product is. So, what we have is an archer and the archer can be controlled via a Xbox controller. I'll hit the A button and the dialog will disappear. I can aim at this target right here. I'll press the trigger and it will act it will shrink the crosshair and I can shoot at this target. The arrow was not part of this package. We had to insert this manually. This is the source code over here in the bullet control. We have inserted a few new variables and a logic. This code right here, you can see that there is a random range attached. This is the inaccuracy. If you reduce these values, the inaccuracy will also be reduced. This is a ray that is being shot from the camera and since it has a random range, that's the reason why the shot is inaccurate. This is the... this is how we are moving the moving the arrow towards the target or hit point and over here we have also inserted a new if statement that will detect collisions with target collider or an object with the tag target collider this target collider was inserted by us inside the unity game engine we'll take a look at follow bullet cam which is a brand new object which follows the arrow once it's shot and this is the code for that it is a code that if we have a target we will follow it and we'll also look at the target so that's the reason why the camera is actually looking at the arrow this is the code for that we also have another uh, this sm small line which is changing the time scale that's the reason why the game slows down when the follow camera is active we have target collider script which is giving the value of the target and we can take a look at the archery target here there are colliders on top of it and these colliders have this script that I was showing you right now this is the script and all of these colliders have this script attached and the and the value of each target can be given in the script so the centermost the centermost uh, target has a value of of uh, 10 so that's that and then we've got 8, we've got 5, we've got 3, we've got 1. We have a score handler which is going to handle the score. And inside this script, which is the game control script, or the game role control script, we have a few new variables and a few new statements. The first statement that we have is, uh, is going to be the this disable input and is pulling these are booleans which tell the game that the uh, bow is being pulled or whatever the correct terminology is and we also have a boolean for disable input this is to make sure that we can't fire two hours at the same time when the follow camera is active uh, we return if we if disable input is true this is the statement for the right trigger and this is another statement for the right trigger. So on the controller, the right trigger, once it's pressed, it's going to fire the arrow. And once it's released, it's going to return back to the normal state. Over here, the, uh, we haven't changed this at all. Um, and the rest of the script remains the same. Most of it, at least. We also have a statement, which was being used, but now it's not. This was for applying the rotation to the arrow. We have also made changes inside the self-rotator, which I'll show you right now. This is the rotation script. This is the this is the rotation script. And over here we have sorry, that's the wrong script. Self-rotation, there we go. And we have Alright, so we uh we didn't change this because it's already taking the horizontal axis which is being uh, which is being set by the joystick. In fact, we have changed this. First, it was from mouse X. Now it's horizontal, which is from the joystick. This is another change that we've made. Other than that, these are 
the major changes. There are certain small changes made as well, however they are very small. So thank you and looking forward to completing this game and making it a multiplayer game.